California. Here in the Sunshine State on the west coast of the USA, people have founded great industries, starting in their garages. Sometimes these places are treasure troves, the kind of places you might find something like these two BMW 507s, which belong to Jack Castor. Ah, oh. well, my memory isn't what it used to be, but I, you know, there were special moments when I started discovering that these cars had some history. The red 507 especially has had some spectacular previous owners. Made in 1957, it used to be white and drove BMW works driver Hans Stuck to victory in various hill climbs. He took part in all kinds of competitions and other occasions in it, all over Europe. When Dad was out and about in his 507 one time, I got to meet Elvis Presley on the racetrack in Monterrey in France. Dad explained the car to him and did a lap with him. Elvis did one on his own too. If I'd known what a star he was going to be, I'd definitely have got his autograph. Sadly, I missed my chance. This was the exact car that Elvis Presley bought in autumn 1958 and took back to the USA after his military service. Considering its provenance, it seems incredible how little the classic car aficionado Jack Castor paid for it when he bought it in 1968. $1,500. It's the only way I could afford one of these at the time. Uh, but I've spent many, many years accumulating parts, and uh, they cost more than uh, the initial investment. Given the pitiful condition of the 507, a full restoration would have stretched Castor well beyond his means. So he sought help from BMW. After numerous discussions, the two sides came to an agreement. BMW Group Classic bought the car back and guaranteed Castor an authentic restoration. They then brought the special 507 back to Munich to be worked on. For the experts at BMW Group Classic, reproducing spare parts is easy because we work closely with the development department, so we can reconstruct virtually every component. And so a thrilling project began. It was to last about two years. First, the car was completely dismantled and the paint was stripped off the floor assembly and body. Presley is said to have painted it red because he was embarrassed by all the love messages his female admirers left him, written on his car in lipstick. During the reconstruction, the team wanted to retain as much of the original as possible. Restoring it to virtually mint condition was a painstaking process. BMW Classic was uncompromising in its restoration. Every last detail really mattered. We searched high and low for the silver surrounds for the tail lights, but you can't get them anywhere. And what about Jack Castor? What made him give away his 507 in 2014? Now, if I were in interested in uh, money only, I'd be making a mistake in turning this car over to BMW, but I want to see it restored. I want to see people have the opportunity to see the car. And that's, that's more important to me than, than me making a, a few million dollars. Castor, the collector, never saw his 507 in its restored state. He died shortly after handing it over to BMW Group Classic. But at least the second of his wishes came true. People from all over the world can now see the painstakingly restored BMW 507 in its full glory. <laughs>